Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove k digits. So in this question, we are given a string which represents a non-negative integer num and we are also given an integer k. We have to return the smallest possible integer after removing k digits from num. So we are given a num represented as a string and we are given an integer k. We have to remove three digits from this num so that the output is the smallest possible value. So let's take a look at these examples and see how we can form the logic. So let's take the first example. Here the string given to us is 1432219. Let's iterate through the string from left to right and access one character at a time. Now let's take a smaller number for us to understand. So if this is the string, which number will you delete? If k is equal to 1, you have to de delete one number. So you will delete 4 and you will get 13. So that will be the smallest possible number. How is your mind directly knowing that you have to delete 4? Because you are seeing its adjacent number and seeing if this can be removed compared to this, which one is greater? 4 is greater than 3. So if you remove 4, this will change 1, 4, 3 to 1, 3. So this checking of adjacent characters can be done with a stack. Let's declare a stack. I pick one character at a time. So ch is equal to 1. I check if stack is if not empty or not to make comparison. Since it's the first character, I directly add it into the stack as stack is empty. Next character ch is at 4. So we pick the topmost element from the stack 1 and we have 4. We have to check if this topmost element is greater than 4. No. So we can't remove this and we have to add 4. Now in the next iteration ch is at 3. We pick the topmost element from the stack 4 and the current ch which is 3. We check if topmost element in the stack is greater than 3. Yes. So we remove this. Since we popped one element, we deleted one element. So 3 will become 2. And in the next iteration, and again we will check the topmost element in the stack 1 and we pick 3. We check if this is true. No. So we skip and add 3 into the stack for the next comparison. In the next iteration, ch is 2. We pick topmost element from the stack 3 and ch is 2. We check if this condition is satisfied. Yes. So remove 3 from the stack. Since we popped one element from the stack, k is 1. And now we check again if topmost element in the stack 1 is greater than the current element ch2. No. So we add that 2 into the stack. So this 2 is added. Now ch is at 2. We check if topmost element in stack is greater than this. No. So we don't pop it and add that 2 into the stack. Now ch is 1. Topmost element is 2. We check if 2 is greater than 1. Yes. So remove 2 from the stack. Since we popped one element k is equal to 0 and since k is equal to 0 we add the rest of the elements 1 and 9 into the stack. Now we have the answer in the stack in the reverse order. So we pop elements from the stack from top to down and store it inside a string builder. So string builder is empty. We pick the top element and add it into the string builder. We pick the top element and add it into the string builder. We pick the top element and add it into the string builder. We pick the top element and add it into the string builder. Now we have our answer in reverse order. So let's reverse it using the reverse method on the string builder. And this will get you 1, 2, 1, 9. Now we have to do a safety check here that the output should not contain leading zeros. Access the zeroth element character and check if this is a zero. No. So we can proceed further. And now we have to check if SB, this is the string builder's length, is greater than 1, which means it is not empty. Like in this case, two elements have been removed and num is 0, so 0 should be the output. Since this is true, we convert this into the two string method. So string builder is converted into a string because we have to return a string. So this is returned as 1219, which is the expected output. Now this is the first part of the code which we have to implement. Now let's take a look at another example. So let's follow the same steps. So I take a stack and I access one character at a time. 3 will be added. Now ch is equal to 1 and topmost element in the stack is 3 and 1. We check if this is passing. Yes. So pop that element and decrement k. Now stack is empty. So 1 will be added. Now ch is at 2. Check if topmost element 1 is greater than 2. No. So we have to add this character 2 into the stack. Now ch is 3. Check topmost element 2 and 3. Check if topmost element in stack is greater than current ch. No. So add this 3 into the stack. Now ch is at 4. Topmost element is 3. Check if this is true. No. So we have to add this 4 into the stack. And now we reach the end of the string and still k is equal to 2 which means we have to remove 2 more elements from the stack. So since the string is 3, 2 and our probable answer by removing 2 digits is we remove 3 and you get 1, 2, 3, 4 and you have to remove 2 more digits from this. So which 2 will you remove? 
you will remove the last two digits directly from the star. So this last two digits are the top two elements from the star. So you can directly pop from the star two times. So you will get one and two as these two will be removed from the star. So you have to place this check for the second iteration. So this is the second part of the code. So after performing the first operations, if k is still greater than zero, you have to remove the last k digits from the stack. So this is one more check. This is the second part of the code. Now let's look at the third part of the code if there are leading zeros like we explained here. So here, so here the original answer after removing one digit is 0 to 0, 0. So the string builder is having 0 to 0, 0. So pick the zeroth element each time until it is a 0. So here it is a 0. So remove that from the string builder using delete char at 0 which is the index position. You will get 2, 0, 0. And now again it will check if zeroth element character is a 0. No. So we convert this into a string. So we check this length if it is greater than 1. Yes, it is greater than 1. So convert this into a string using the two string method like how we did here and return 200 as the output. So that is the output. So this is the third part of the code and this is the fourth part of the code that is the last check. Here we have to check after removing all the k digit from the string. If you remove k digits from this, you will be left with nothing. So we have to return 0 in this case. Left with nothing which is 0. So 0 is returned as the output. So finally in the last check you have to check if the string builder's length is greater than 0. If it is greater then convert that into a two string method. If it is false then return a string 0 as the output. So these are the four parts of the code you have to implement in an order for you to get the output. Now let's take a look at the code. So here I declare the stack and this is the first part of the code. And this is the second part of the code. If k is still greater than 0, this is the second check. So here you are forming the string builder and reversing it. And now this is the third check. Like in this case, the output is initially 0 to 0, 0. Must not contain leading 0. So you remove this by checking the 0th element character if it is a 0. Then delete that 0th element character from the string builder. Important to use a while loop here. So until there is no zeros in the beginning, this while loop will run. And here, it will check length is greater than 200 and this is the fourth check finally in this case so if output is 0 sb dot length is greater than 0 then convert that string builder into a string and return it else return a 0 like in this case coming to the function given to us this is the function name this is the input string and this is the input k which is an integer we have to return a string as an output as we discussed we have to use a stack so let me declare that since we have to add the characters into the stack, the stack is going to contain characters. Now we have to iterate through this string num character by character. So let me convert this num into a character array and then use a for loop to access each character. So we converted this num into a character array and then I'm accessing each character at a time. Now using a while loop, we have to check three conditions that stack is not equal to empty. Only then we can process or pick elements from the stack, right? And we have to check if k is greater than 0, there are some more digits we have to remove. So as soon as k becomes 0, this while loop will end. And the third condition is that we have to check the topmost element inside the stack if it is greater than the ch. So stack.peak will give you the topmost element and it is greater than the ch which we are processing. So this is a character because characters are present inside the stack and ch is also a character and in java directly characters are converted to their ascii values we don't have to convert these characters into integers so ch will have an integer value and this will also have an integer value once these three conditions satisfy we have to remove the element from the stack using the pop method and then we also have to decrement k right for the next iteration so initially stack is empty so here we have to push that element into the stack now we have to check the edge case that if k is still greater than 0 and we have to remove few elements, we have to run another while loop to remove elements from the stack. So let's use a while loop again and this will happen if stack is not equal to empty and k is greater than 0. Now again we have to repeat this by removing elements from the stack and decrementing k. Now the elements are present inside the stack. Now we have to add elements from the stack into a string because we have to return a string. Instead of directly appending elements into a string which will take O of n time, we can use a string builder because insertions take O of one time inside a string builder. So let's create a string builder sp. 
now we have to access all the elements inside the stack i'll use a while loop and access each character until stack is empty we have to append that character into the string builder so sb dot append of stack dot pop now the elements are inside a string builder in reverse order so let's reverse it and get our original output so you can use the reverse method on the string builder now before converting this into a string and returning it we have to check this edge case right in this case we are removing just the one and the answer is 0 2 0 0 but we have to return only 2 0 0 because output must not contain leading zeros so there shouldn't be any zero in the beginning so i check the length of the string builder if it is greater than one until then we have to remove all the leading zeros we use a while loop to repeat this process each time to check the first character inside the string builder so while string builder's length is greater than one and the zeroth element character inside a string builder is a zero so using this while loop we have to remove the zeroth element character from say the from the string builder so sb dot delete caract at the zeroth element index which is a zero so remember to use a while loop because there might be many leading zeros so until all the leading zeros are removed this while loop will run and finally we can return a string builder sb by converting it into a string now this string builder might have zero length so we have to place a check here so if string builder's length is greater than zero only we have to return that string builder else we have to return zero as our output because as a string if sb dot length is greater than zero we convert that string builder into a string and return that as the output else we have to return a string as zero as the output like here in this case one and zero is a is the input string and we have to remove two characters if we remove two characters the output is zero we are left with nothing which is zero so here we are checking if length is zero then we have to return zero now let's try to run the code the test cases are being accepted let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the input string and the space complexity is also O of n because we are using a stack to store the characters inside a string. So in the worst case all the characters will be added into the stack and also we are using a string builder to form our output string. That's it guys thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.